congratulations to Winthrop. I thought they played extremely well. Uh, I thought in the second half they were just terrific. Uh, got us a little bit off balance there in defensive transition. Uh, Keon is a handful. Uh, he's a, without a doubt a handful. And, um, you know, he's very difficult to guard in transition. You got to be really perfect almost every time, and he puts so much pressure on you. Winthrop's a veteran team. Uh, they got a lot of very experienced guys. They're the most veteran team in our league, and they played like that in the second half. They uh, jumped out early, and then you went up 10. And again, they're veteran. They never lost their composure. Yeah, they really did. I mean, they were, they were terrific uh, in every aspect of the game. And you could see their experience on the floor. Uh, you could see that they were able to make adjustments. Uh, we're still learning. And we're still a, we're a work in progress. And, and you know, when they, those guys have been together for three years. And we've been together for six months. And so, um, you know, I, I love the way we competed. Uh, we weren't afraid. Uh, we competed. Uh, we came at them. Uh, we just weren't good enough tonight uh, to, to, to get it done against a really good team. And um, w w with a team that good, you gotta be you got to be really good in every aspect. And we had three or four breakdowns and uh, let it to get to 14 and 15 a couple times and, and uh, just couldn't recover. Javis getting 12 boards and nine offensive at the beat. Nice to see for you. Javis played really hard. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a very good rebounder. Um, and he played a lot of minutes. Uh, so uh, Javis, Javis competed very well against their big guys. They're very strong and experienced under there. And um, yeah, I was proud of his effort. They made 10 threes. You made four. I mean, that's really the difference in the game. And, and I guess you've got to live and die by that three-point, you know, three-point shooting. Do you have the capabilities to be better than four for 21? Oh, sure. Absolutely. We are better than four for 21. But they're, they're, theirs were better looks because their penetration was better. I mean, they really drove the ball well, and that makes us rotate. And then their experience allowed them to find open players. And um, it, j it just puts you on your heels. You know, Keon puts you on your heels a lot. And, uh, he's very difficult to compete against. And, and then when, he, when his shooters are making plays, it just puts you in a bind. Are you going to rotate? Um, the best thing, obviously, to do is keep him in front. But that's, you know, much like it was difficult with Sa. Uh, it's very difficult with Keon. What about Liberty now? You get yeah, we got to put the, the great thing about this one is, you know, we got 36 hours, we'll get to play again. And that's exciting for us. Uh, we need to play again. Uh, we need to have a great day tomorrow. Uh, Liberty won tonight. And uh, obviously, we, we get an opportunity to play the number one preseason pick and the number two preseason pick back to back. And that's going to do nothing but help this team. Um, we're going to get better, and we're going to keep getting better. And uh, as we get better, we're going to play with more confidence. So is tomorrow more just like a, a conceptual day, I guess, with, with having just one Yeah, day? We're, we're, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have Liberty ready to go. And it's already ready to go. And, and uh, we'll prepare as hard as we can uh, to, to play Liberty.